Stefan Umare and Mainit, I'm here in Melbourne, Australia for UFC 234, Whitaker versus Gastelum. So, Sam Alby, you're fighting Jimmy Crute, a young up and coming from Australia. Uh, what do you know about him? Uh, I know he hits hard. I know he's, he's a brown belt, almost a black belt. I, he's like almost a black belt to the point if he submits me, he's probably going to get his black belt. So I, I really don't want to give him that black belt. Uh, I, and uh, he, he, he's a good stand-up guy with excellent ground. He, he's a dangerous opponent. And so a uh, couple of hours to fly over here from America. How, how was your flight over? It was great. I think we left at like 8 p.m. So I kind of fell asleep right away. I woke up played my uh, Nintendo Switch. Uh, I'm the greatest Super Smash Bros. player in the history of the game, just so everyone knows. Uh, I'd like to take on that challenge because I fancy myself being a good Smash player. Who's your character? Uh, but I, I play Nintendo 64 though, so it's a little bit old school, but I'll beat you with any character. <laughs> any character? I don't think so. Uh, I'll, I'll use my plan B, Samus. My plan B is Samus. So, um, have you seen uh, Kroot's fights before, and uh, what, what's your assessment of him? Uh, yeah, I've seen him before. He was last time he fought in Australia. He was the only Australian to, to win on the card, and uh, that's it. Made news. I, I paid attention to him from then then on. I thought, well, you know what? He's still young in the sport. I'll probably not be his next opponent. And lo and behold, I'm his next opponent. <laughs> Um, now that you had a couple of fights at 205, have you switched up your diet or something? Are you coming in lighter or heavier for fight camp? How are you like? Um, yeah, how, how are you doing uh, at 205? I'm loving 205. Uh, I, I've been working with George Lockhart for, for a while now. I'm actually certified under the Lockhart and Elite system. Uh, so I've been working with them for a few years. Uh, they've really helped make my weight exactly where I want it to be. Um, and so I, I'm very comfortable at 205. And you're hoping your next fight will be at 205 too? I hope so. Hope, you know, if we're talking best case scenario, it's for a title shot. It's probably not going to happen, but it will keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> and uh, what do you think about the outcome in the co-main and uh, main event? A couple of good fights in the middleweight division, your old division. Oh, it's, a, it's such a good card. Uh, I, I'm picking Silva to win. But I, I, they're both so good. It's hard to, you know, everyone tell, a lot of people are telling me I'm wrong. But Silva's the best it's ever been, and I, I'm just never going to pick against him. And Whitaker Gasolum? Uh, they're two guys that I always kind of sort of root, not root's the wrong word, that I always bet against. And I'm always wrong. So, so it's a very tough one. I'm going to go with Whitaker because he beat UL twice. And UL's not a guy that can get beat once, let alone twice. And as usual, your family is here. I see your son running around, a future star photographer. When we talked a couple of months ago, you were in the process of uh, doing an adoption. Is there an update on that, or is the process still going on? The process is still going on. It's uh, one adoption is one adoption is going very hard but we're working on other ones we're both licensed to foster now um, so we're hoping that we can start fostering uh, uh, American children here in the next month or three all right cool and uh, after Wayne's it's still the the finish a day with the pizza after Wayne's yep we're still looking it's the hardest city in the world to find pizza and I keep looking and it's it's I haven't found the, the place yet but we'll find it either tonight or tomorrow all right thank you very much for the interview good luck in the fight Thank you so much, sir.